What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you how to implement the Martingale. So this is a very cool thing, but yeah, let's get to that. First of all, open the MetaTrader file. Okay, and once it's open, uh, you click here on the IDE and now you have to come to a bot. So I already have this bot implemented and the only thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to change the function that returns the lottage. Because this is how you implement the Martingale, uh, changing the lotage, uh, making it bigger when you lose. But first of all, how do we recognize when do we lose? We need to get the history of deals. So for that, first of all, we need to use the function history select. So in this function, what we have to do is to set the from date and the to date. So it means that from which point until with which point do you want to take the deals? For that, we are going to use the time current function, and here we are going to say that since this is the from date, we are saying that from 12 hours ago. For that, it is as simple as multiplying 12, or not this, 12 but by 60 and by 60. Okay, and now to what date? The current date. So here we just put time current. Okay. So now we have selected this time period and now the thing that we need to do is to get the ticket of the last operation so we can see later if this operation was successful or not. So in order to get that ticket you put ulong and here we are going to get call this pref ticket let's yeah pref ticket and you just need to call the function history get oh, history deal get ticket and you just have to send an index. And which index do we have to send? The last one. And how do we get the last one? You call the function history deals total. <coughs> and you have to subtract one. That's it. That's how you get the last um, the last position, the last deal. Now you need to get the profit. So this is going to be a double. Let's call it profit. And here we are going to say, okay, history deal to get double. We send the, trick, the ticket, ref ticket, and here we say that we want the deal profit. That's it. And now it's just simple logic. So if the profit is less than zero, it means we lost. We need to increase the lottage. We will do this in a second. Else we don't. How do we increase the lottage? You can see here that we have here this variable multiplier, but yeah, forget about it. We need to declare a variable multiplier, which is going to be the multiplier of the lotage. So at the beginning, this value is going to be one. And what we do is that, okay, this is the operation that uh, computes the lotage. So the thing that we have to do is to multiply here this by the current multiplier. So we put here multiplier. Perfect. But now we need to increase this multiplier if we lose. So what we do here is that, okay, the multiplier is going to be equal to, uh, well, we are going to multiply it by itself and by five. That's it. If we lose. Uh, in any other case, in the case that we didn't lose, we are going to put one. And it is as simple as that. You can put this in another way. So for example, you can say multiplier is equal to if profit is less than zero, then this is equal to multiplier by five. Else, this is equal to one. So yeah, this looks better. So yeah, now we just have to test it. And okay, you compile, you check that you don't have any errors. You come here and yeah, you do any test in any bot or whatever. You click on start and yeah. So for example, I have this date prepared on, yeah, but let's see. So for example, here we have the operations and we haven't lost. So the volume is 0.1, but you can see here that in this one we lost and the next one is already 0.1 because this was okay. But yeah, that's the idea that if we lose, the lottage uh, gets well, increases. So I have this date prepared because we have two day, two losses in a row and you are going to see that, hey, this gets to 0 0.5 and then to 2.5 because we are multiplying by 5. So yeah, you can see that here, okay, we lost in this one and again in this one we lost. 
So you can check that the last one, the last operation is 2.5. So 0 0.5 multiplied by 5. So yeah, that's how you actually implement the Martingale. You can see that it's very simple. And by the way, I always forget you have this in my GitHub. I will upload it. But yeah, if you come here to my GitHub, comma one you come here to trading bot, then MQL5. And here you have the Martin Gala in Spanish, but it's the Martin Gale. This is the bot and this is the logic that you have to implement. That's it. So yeah, if you understood the video, give it a like, share, subscribe and see you in the next one.